Hi, Sarah. Thanks so much for taking time out this afternoon to uh, to come and speak to me. I'm really delighted uh, to meet you. So if you could possibly just start us off by giving us a, a brief introduction um, to who you are and your role, etc. That would be fabulous. Thanks. Yeah, sure. Hi, Jill. I'm Sarah Beatty. I'm the director of daycare at St Martin's Nursery in Solihull. So that's a private nursery uh, that I've had for 15 years. Um, previous to that, I've had uh, two more settings and um, recently launched uh, Canopy Children's Nursery. So we have three new settings opening um, over the next 12 months as well. Wow, that sounds exciting. Great stuff. Thank you. So um, what we're wanting to talk about today is the, the new Department for Education um, platform around helping providers, um, a tool that we really hope will support providers to be able to get to grips with all the changes that have come about through the EYFS reforms. So if you just tell me a bit about what you like about the platform, and the resources that we've popped up there. Yeah, sure. So um, I found the platform really interesting and really useful. What I particularly like about it is uh, it's very tangible. Um, so people often ask, um, what does outstanding practice look like? And I feel like this resource really brings it to life for practitioners. Um, it's very useful clips. You can use it in very small chunks. So, for example, if you need some inspiration about a particular area of the EYFS, you can just click into that area of EYFS. You can watch the video. You can download some activities. You can read the resources. Um, and it's just um, it, it's inspiring. It brings it to life very, very quickly. And it's just tangible. So um, people can really get a vision for what practice should look like under each area of the curriculum. That's great and you mentioned bite-sized chunks is that something there that people can sort of dip in and out of or how does it work? Yeah absolutely I mean I can um, go through the screen and, and sort of show you how I use it if that's at all helpful. Um, yeah so, so what I do is um, with my staff when we look at staff training evenings um, I get the whole setting together and we have um, different practitioners that are in sort of champions for different areas of the curriculum. So we've got a maths champion and we've got a physical development champion. Um, so when they're looking at ideas to share with the, the rest of the practitioners, they can literally spend 10 or 15 minutes just clicking on to the different area of the resource that relates to that part of the curriculum, watch the video and, um, you know, read about the practice and the sorts of things they should be looking at. So it's really accessible. That's great. Brilliant. Thank you. And um, so, yeah, if you would be able to share that platform with me and show me, that would be great. Thank you. So this is the first page that come up, it comes up as you Google help for early years providers. I've seen that. So that's fantastic. So, yeah, talk me through and tell me what bits you've really liked about this platform. OK, so what we do, Jill, is um, I've shared it with my managers and deputy managers that we have in the setting. And if we feel like they need some inspiration in a particular area or um, the children really need to focus and develop on a particular area of the curriculum, they can just simply click onto this page, which is help for early years providers, and then scroll down and choose the area that they want to particularly focus on. So at the moment, we're having um, a focus on mathematics in our setting. So if you just click on mathematics and then it takes you to the different aspects of mathematics. Oh, sorry, I've had that down here. There we go. So we've got numbers, patterns and connections and spatial reasoning. So we can click on any of those areas that they particularly want to look at. So um, we've been looking at numbers and I just really like the language that's used. It's very um, practical language. It's language that everybody can relate to and understand. And it talks through some tips there about how to use numbers in context. Um, and this video is really powerful. You've got some really um, lovely settings demonstrating how they use numbers. So the video content I would really encourage people to use as much as they possibly can. Um, if I go back a step, go back to the top and go back to home, you'll also see that when you're, as a leader and manager of your setting, if you're looking at your how to improve your practice um, and how to use the new EYFS in practice in your setting, there's lots and lots of tips here on get help to improve your practice. So how do you reduce paperwork? How do you plan the curriculum under the new EYFS September 2021? 
Um, and particularly on some of the areas that we might not be quite as familiar with, for example, um, oral health being brought into the curriculum under safeguarding and welfare. There's some really useful tips there about how we can, um, why it's been introduced and how we can actually promote oral health in practical terms. So it's, it's quite difficult, isn't it, making that tangible for a two or a three year old child who's actually just growing their first set of teeth. Yes. Um, and and it's, it's, I think there's some confusion amongst practitioners about how we can do that. And this makes it very simple, very easy to understand. So um, I think it's an incredibly useful tool. Brilliant. Thank you very much. That's really useful. Um, and I, I particularly like there the way it's so easy to navigate and see what you're looking for under those different headings as well. Um, so do you think after you've done this with your staff, it will sort of have any outcome? Will there be any actions that you take straight from, from doing it? Yeah, absolutely. So um, one of the things that I've put on the feedback, uh, sorry, I was just going to draw your attention to the feedback here at the top. Oh, thank so, you. There is um, a button there um, because obviously it's a new resource and the DFB seem to be um, really welcoming the feedback from the end users. So you can complete this form, which is really simple form. It takes about two minutes, two or three minutes to complete. Um, one of the things that I would like um, to see you is I'll just click out of that and click back. Um, so I use a prompt sheet with, with my practitioners in training. So before they look at the video, I like to focus them on thinking about um, what's the environment like within that video. Is it a rich environment for learning? Um, can they spot and identify from the video what the learning intention is? Um, how has that been implemented in practice? Are the children engaged and what's the impact on the children? So by using those prompt sheets, before and after the video, it encourages the conversation amongst the practitioners, but it also gets them to start thinking in those terms of the three eyes and you know how to implement effective practice. So that's certainly one of the, um, the, the things that I've put on the feedback that I would like to see some more of those kind of prompt sheets to enable staff to evaluate practice themselves. That's great, that's really useful. That's great, thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd like to, to add? Um, not really, no, it's just nice um, that, you know, this resource is available, it's free. Um, it's really useful that this has been put together because I think um, certainly within small independent settings, we've been trying to do it in house ourselves and often, you know, smaller settings don't have the resources to be able to do that. So to have a centralized resource like this is incredibly useful. Um, and hopefully that will continue to be developed and expanded as we, um, as, as you know, as the platform grows. Brilliant. That's great. Thank you so much again um, for your time. And that has been really, really helpful. Uh, so thank you once again. You're welcome. I'm now really pleased to introduce an interview that my colleague Octavia recorded to gain a child minus perspective on the online resource platform. The interview is with Caroline. Caroline is an experienced child minder who's also supported with some of the literacy videos on the platform. And we're really grateful to her for giving up her time to support with this piece of work. Hi Caroline, it's lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for finding time to talk to me today about the new online resource platform that the DfE have developed to implement the EYFS reforms. I know you're really busy, so really appreciate this. Um, so let's kind of make a start then. So can you just tell me a little bit about yourself and also about your setting? Hi there, um, I'm Caroline, as you just said. Um, I've been childminding for about 16 years. Um, my daughter's um, just turning 17 and she was one when I started. So um, yeah, I've been through a few different um, phases of the um, EYFS um, thing. So that was, that's yeah, that's really good. Um, so my setting is quite rural. Um, I'm really very close to the local school. Um, and at the moment I have three children every, most days, um, one today, which is quite nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. That's lovely. All right. Well, it's great to hear all of that. And we're just really pleased to be able to talk to you and to get a child minder's perspective because we're really keen at NCB and also the Department for Education are really keen 
to make sure that the support works for all providers. So any kind of insights you can give us um, to how useful the resources have been or any improvements that could be made, it'd be great to hear all about that. So then just to start off, could you tell us a bit about what do you like about the platform and the resources? Um, after looking at it, I really like the, the way it's set out. So it's right. got the main features already mm -hmm. and then you, you click on them and then it brings you up to the, all the other information. So it is really user friendly. There's a lot of information on there, but you can take it in small bites, small bits. You can read a little bit when you've got time and then they've got the videos, which are really good. Um, so yeah, I really, really like it. Okay, that's brilliant. That's fantastic to hear all of that. And so do you, I mean, I don't know how you work with other providers in your area, but do you think there'll be opportunities to share it with other childminders who you know locally? I have been trying to share it with other yeah. childminders. They have had a look at it, a little look. Um, obviously, when we always meet up um, in the mornings, usually we go for a walk or we go to a park or we go to another area. But of course, we've always got like three or four or six children around yeah, us. So of course. It is yeah. really easy to look at, but not, but you need your brain power <laughs> yeah. to really take it in. Um, so yeah, yeah you need to find a, an afternoon or a five minutes just to sit down, um, read a little bit, take it in and understand it. And but yeah, it's it is really good, really nice the way it's been laid out, and and you can link through to the next section or or just look at one section that you think one of your children is is struggling with you can just look at the communication area or the literacy area that i worked with um so yeah it's, it's really good it's, it's in bite-sized chunks it's all laid out really well um yeah and i would definitely uh, recommend having a quick look at it when you've got time um, yeah and looking at it i've actually printed out um a couple of the sheets as well which i found really helpful sometimes when you have it in paper format um, it's easier to look back on and I might actually in, end up printing a few more bits but mm. maybe at a slower s slower pace rather than the whole lot altogether. Yeah that makes sense and it's sometimes quite good to have things in a hard copy isn't it so you yeah. can kind of refer to them but that's really really helpful and it's good to hear that you can do it in a really kind of bite-sized mm. way and chunk it up so that people can dip in and out once they've found that time like you say to be able to actually look at it properly um, so that's really really helpful so in terms of you having looked at it and being able to sort of start going through it are there any specific actions that you've taken um, since you've seen the content and the videos on the platform? So anything so far where you've thought, oh yeah, I might try that actually, or do that a bit differently? Um, I think my outdoor setting, when I was looking at the video on the um, physical development, um, a few more like cli smaller climbing bits and pieces, like some more logs to climb on or some more um, uh, areas that, uh, um, um, that they are easily accessible for the, ch for the smaller ones. Cause I've got a few smaller ones, one year olds now, right? So, yeah, which I didn't have at the beginning of the summer. Mm -hmm. Um, they've all gone to school. So I've got smaller ones now. So I just need, I was just looking at some of the, like the, the, pl the platforms that they could walk on and other bits and pieces and also the literacy side of things. Okay, that's brilliant to hear. Um, and then just the kind of practicalities of it. So what device do you use to look at the website? Because you've mentioned about printing some things out, but are you looking at it on a phone or? I've looked at it from both sides of things. So I've looked at it, we, we shared it um, the other day with my friend, um, with my childminding friend on my phone. And she was, she took my phone and had a look at it and was scrolling down. And I said, and then you go backwards and you can see the other areas of learning. Um, so I was showing her on my phone. I, I can't remember if I printed it from my laptop or from my phone, um, but I'm definitely printed it from either one of those, laptop or phone. 
Okay, um, excellent. So yeah, it sounds so like is easy. Yeah, it you can really use it on different devices. So that's really good. And coming back to what you said before, it means that you can kind of show it to people, but then they can sort of see it, but then wait until they've got time um, yeah. to be able to look at it properly. So that's great. Thank you for that, Caroline. That was great. Um, could you tell us anything else about the site and the resources that you think is particularly useful? Well, I do like the fact that it's all it's all in one place. It's all in one area. You can click on different um, areas, different pointers, and make your own um, time to read it. That's, That's really, really helpful. So it saves you having to go around and look in different places for the yeah. information. You've got kind of one source. Okay, that's fantastic. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for talking okay. to me today. Massively appreciated. And I'm very impressed that you managed to do it because you've got so much to fit in. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that will just be a huge help for lots of people. So take care yeah, yeah, and hopefully really we'll talk again soon. Thank you very okay, much. Bye. Take care. Bye. bye, -bye.